This is a continuation of the vlogs on the Joker painting series. So two weeks ago, I went to the comic book store to collect some comic books for this vlog. And then in last week's vlog, I cleaned up my art room to get ready for this massive project, the Joker art painting project. So the very first step is to create a collage with the comic books that I collected. So if you haven't seen that video, make sure to check it out. That was super fun to be looking and flipping through all of these different things for my project. And in this video, we're going to be having a look at which pages that I'm going to choose and then the process of laying that down and getting my board ready. Ooh, forgot about this one in my room. I was using this to show kid that I tutored like what comic books were because we were doing this little activity, making our own comic books in French. And I thought this was a great example. This is gonna be the last book. I really, really love these pages that have more of like that orange kind of tone to them because I kind of wanted it to be like a brighter background. Um, so we're gonna see the ones that I end up using. All right, let's go. Okay, I'll just. What are you? Um, some pop of color. Yeah, this I would use without all the ones that I think. Like. And the ones that have these like comic box things. Too much red, no? I could rip, no, but it's not the same. Oh, this is cool. To the Batman. This one's the actual Joker. You guys should see what I have my camera on right now. And six cradle with panels and my Super gloss heavy gel makes the perfect stabilizer. As you can see, when duty calls, baby. Cool, so I'm having so much fun flipping through these. I'm like so excited for this project. Nothing like I've ever done before. And I've been doing digital for so long that going back to painting, painting, like actual painting, if you look at prior videos on my channel, it's like, Especially like on a canvas this big, doing something new for the first time, it's kind of scary and I think that's why I was like so compelled to do it and like do something that's like super out of my comfort zone right now. So we have already gone through, how many comics now? We've only gone through two. I bought six just in case and it's actually a really good thing because I found that I'm not, oh I went through three. Oh mon dieu, I can't even count. Oh, this is gonna be cool. This one right here, it looks like it's gonna have a lot of color in it. Oh, that's sick, yeah, I'm definitely using that. Look at that. Look at that. Hmm. You know what I realized? Comic books have so many ads. You're like, dude, ads have been around for so long. Like we complain about YouTube ads and Instagram ads and all this, but I'm like, They've been around from time, G. Gotham City, yes. That's what I'm talking about. I'm looking for as much color as possible. So this is perfect. Party! We should sell, be sell, what does it say? We should be celebrating with the rest of Gotham. That's what I'd sound like if I was a comic book narrator. This is so relaxing. Just ripping out pages. I love this. Oh, see this is the part that I was like, damn, because you have two really cool sides. So it's like, which one do you use? Cause then this one is that continuation when they're at the freaking party, the billionaire's ball. So I'm like, can we even split these up? -na 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 -na. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Yup. These two, yes, 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 yes. I don't know who you are. Uh, Green Lantern. 
Um, let's see here. Definitely gonna use that. All right, so choosing these was super fun, but what was even more fun is getting to rip a couple of these pages up and put them in the layout that I wanted for this board. So what I wanted to keep in mind when doing this was I guess the color distribution and just making sure that things were fairly even. So for this board in particular, because it is the Joker and this is going to be the background for that painting, I did more or less want to choose pages that were brighter to kind of showcase like all the colors that the Joker portrays, if that makes sense. So yeah, the placement was a really important aspect for me and I just wanted it to feel balanced. This was definitely something that I had to think through and that is why I wanted to plan it before pasting the papers down. So if you guys follow along in my previous videos on my YouTube channel, you'll notice that the style that I'm attempting here and approaching is very, very different from anything I've ever done before. And I think that this is why I wanted to approach it besides having a dream of creating something like this. I've always loved pop art. I've always loved color, things that are bright. So really I am drawing from those elements that I am familiar with. And then just getting our ideas out when we have them is so super important. Even if we don't think that they fit in this quote unquote creative box that we make for ourselves. Because we have so many ideas. We want to incorporate different styles and and, you know like draw from the inspiration of other artists and just because it doesn't fit in the style that you identify in doesn't mean that you shouldn't go ahead and try out that project from this specific project i have been learning so much about myself as an artist the limits that i put in myself and my capabilities and my ability to reflect to analyze all of it so if there's something that you want to do any sort of endeavor i really encourage you to just go ahead and do so make a little plan test it out try it out and it's like the worst that can happen is that you don't like it and you're on to the next thing so this is what this project is for me but i think it's just going to be so much bigger than that All right, so after I've laid all of it down and sealed the pages, the next step that I'm gonna be doing is resining this board and then starting my Joker painting on top of this background. So super excited for that. Please make sure to stay tuned if you're interested in following this process. I would love to see you guys in the upcoming videos and I'll see you next time. Bye.